Hey guys, this is our breastfeeding update for um, Alice's 12 weeks, just, just shy of the official three month mark. She won't be in this video because she's napping. Um, I don't think she'll be in this video. I have enough to talk about just about breastfeeding that I decided to do a topic centered update. Um, and I'm going to do a, a cloth diaper update pretty soon, and then probably at the three month mark, just do another baby vlog um, of Alice's sort of development and stuff. So I'm going to break it down a little bit more. Anyway, breastfeeding wise, Things are still going pretty well. Um, the biggest success is that Thrush has not come back. Um, that was a really big challenge for us early on, but I'm happy to report that um, the Gentian Violet really did the trick. I also did take the Diflucan pill. Um, I believe in my, maybe my last update, I talked about that in more detail, but um, we are still good on that front. I'm so happy. Um, in general, Going back to work on my two mornings a week has not affected my supply or anything. I was really concerned about that, but so far um, we're pretty much good there. Um, I'm not having any leaking. Um, I'm not having real problems with engorgement. Um, I just am still using a manual pump. And there's only been one time at work where um, I got uncomfortable and so I pumped a little bit um, just in the bathroom sort of as an, as an emergency thing. Um, but in general, I can go that four hours, no problem, and then come home and just feed Alice right away, and I'm fine. Um, let's see. I never ended up getting a decent nursing bra, like I talked about and everybody said was really essential. I got two sort of sleep nursing bras that don't offer a whole lot of support, but they do have the, um, you know, the hook, sort of easy access flap thing, um, one-handed release, or whatever they call it. Um, and then I do have one fairly decent nursing bra has a little bit more structure to it that I got at a thrift store and I just wear that sort of when I have to, um, like to go to work. But normally around the house um, I actually haven't been wearing a bra. I don't really feel like I need the support and just the ease of, um, you know, the ease of access is um, more important to me when I'm just around here. Alice feeds pretty frequently during the day. Um, she's sleeping amazingly at night, like at least seven hours. So she feeds during the day a lot. Um, she cluster feeds quite often, um, but when she's not when she's not cluster feeding, I'd say she feeds at least every two hours, um, one and a half to every two hours. I am confident that she is getting everything that she needs. She is still gaining weight. Actually, I think she's oops, she's gaining a lot of weight. Um, I weighed her today at the baby cafe, and she weighs twelve pounds, twelve and a half, twelve pounds eight ounces um, at twelve weeks. So. That's a lot. That's even a, a really big gain from her last appointment, which is less than a month ago. Um, that's almost a full pound more. So, and she's, you know, having the right amount of wet and dirty diapers per day. So, um, I'm confident that she's on track. She is able to latch herself now, pretty much. Um, sometimes I just correct her latch a little bit, but um, it is so freeing to be able to have the use of both my hands, or at least at least one hand, um, usually both hands, while she's nursing. Early on, I was holding her for position, and then I was using compression, um, compression of my breast, to sort of regulate the flow and um, keep her awake. Um, and we get things got a little bit better using the my breast friend um, pillow helps with positioning, so I was able to sort of have one free hand to read a book or, um, you know use my phone or something like that. But now because she, she's able to hold position well, she's big enough, and she's able to latch really well just on her own, um, I'm able to have both hands free, which is really awesome. One little sort of annoying thing that we've been dealing with just starting this week is that Alice um, has been getting fussy um, so at the breast. So she, I can tell she's hungry, she'll be sucking on her hands and acting hungry and giving me all those cues. But then as soon as she gets into position, um, you know, on her side, ready to go, she'll start crying. Um, this is really a new thing, and I talked to our lactation consultant about it today, and she said that she thinks it's just a developmental phase. Um, actually, Alice did it while we were at the baby cafe. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go into the background of the baby cafe. I do have another video about it, um, sort of what it is and stuff, but this was my second visit. Finally, um, I have called the lactation consultant several times, um, you know, since Alice has been home. But today was our first visit back there, and Mike came with me to sort of check it out and stuff and get some tips on something I'm going to talk about in a second. Anyway, 
Um, so she really thinks that this is just a, a phase that Alice is going through for whatever reason. And usually I'm able to sort of um, work through it with her um, by singing or humming to her, sometimes patting her on the back while she's um, laying down or bouncing on the ball as I'm trying to get her latch, um, then she's fine. And it's really only in the middle of the afternoon. I don't know if she just starts getting bored or she's tired or what, but she's always nurses fine in the morning and then in the evening and, you know, to bedtime and stuff. So it's just really sort of in the middle of the day. Um, hopefully that's something we just, um, she grows out of pretty fast. So the other thing, um, the reason we went to the baby cafe today is because Alice is still refusing a bottle. So I've been pumping milk and when I go for my twice a week, four hours at work, Mike stays with Alice and during that time she inevitably gets hungry. Um, we have been trying to get her to nap during that time so that at least she is down for a little bit and he's able to work from home and you know make this um, child care swap thing really work for us. But she inevitably will wake up, um, you know, four hours is a long time to go without eating and so the plan was just to give her a bottle, no problem. We've tried different bottles and different nipples and she just she she just won't take the bottle. Um, there have been a couple of times where she finally will accept it um, and drink a little bit, but it's really so stressful for both of them. I mean, she'll be crying, Mike is really frustrated, um, and it can go on for like an hour where she just she just fights and fights it and just won't um, won't take the bottle at all. So I've been trying to figure out what else we can do there. Um, You know, we've tried, uh, he's used the the breastfeeding support pill that I use so that she'll, you know, maybe that'll trigger a memory for her. Um, he's used um, my clothes, you know, near her to try to make her more comfortable and whatever, sort of trick her into thinking that she's nursing for me. Um, but she's just too smart. <laughs> she just doesn't like artificial nipples. Um, she did accept them in the very, very beginning when she was in the NICU, sort of, I don't know, maybe she was, it was a skill that she, she learned at that point, but she has since forgotten or decided that it's just something she doesn't want to do. She won't take a pacifier either, um, which I'm pretty much okay with, but I just don't want her to be hungry while I'm not here. Based on the lactation consultant's advice, we are going to try feeding her from a cup. This is like a little medicine cup, and it's flexible. So you hold it to her bottom lip, and she will kind of like lap the milk out. Um, you know, you don't pour it in their mouth, but um, the idea is that she'll lap, uh, lap it up. Um, we might also try a sippy cup. She's a little bit young for it, but they said that some babies will will take that um, at this point. And because that's different than a nipple, um, you know, she might recognize it as being just a different thing and not trying to substitute. Whatever. We'll see. Um, Last thing that we're trying based on the lactation consultant's advice is this tiny tubing. Um, it's called finger feeding. So this is a number five French uh, feeding tube that actually this is what they use in the NICU. Um, it's like an NG tube so it would go down the baby's nose into the stomach for babies who are too young um, you know, to get anything but tube feedings. But we're going to take a I think the cap just comes off here. Basically, what Mike would do is put one end in, um, you know, in a bottle or in a cup of milk or whatever, and this is basically going to be like a super long straw. And then he puts his finger in Alice's mouth with the tube, um, you know, sort of hidden next to it. And in theory, because Alice will suck on fingers, um, she could suck through the straw and um, be able to get milk that way. So that's something we're going to try this week. I will keep you guys posted on um, if any of this stuff works for us. If we can't find something that works, it won't be long before she'll be able to go four hours um, without eating and, and you know feel less hungry and have it be less stressful for her. I don't think that working shorter hours is an option for me, but that could change. So if any of you have dealt with uh, bottle refusal, um, if you could let me know what finally did work for you, if you tried an, an alternate um, feeding system or you know how you how you got past it how you convinced the baby to try it or whatever
So that's where we're at. Um, our only breastfeeding issue really isn't a breastfeeding issue, but it is a feeding issue. So anyway, um, that's where we are at almost three months.